Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. So I wanted to recover my settings here in Black Ops Cold War since it's free to play here for PlayStation Plus. There's going to be a ton of new players flooding the game. So I wanted to cover some controller and graphic type stuff. So the newer players, or even if you guys have never seen my settings before, you guys have a good look at what I'm using and what I consider to be the best settings. So I am playing on controller and that's where a majority of the new players are going to be. I'm not too familiar with mouse and keyboard settings. So you may want to find a different video if that's what you're looking for. But right here, you guys can see everything from my horizontal, vertical, and then my stick sensitivity. So my horizontal and vertical are both seven, seven. That just seems to be my sweet spot. What you guys should do is start low and work your way up. Go into a custom game, see which sensitivity works best for you. Like I said, start low, start on like a four, work your way up to see where exactly is comfortable. You don't want it to be too fast. You'll end up missing a lot of shots at the same time you don't want it to be too slow because you'll not be able to turn on people fast enough for my ads stick sensitivity i have it on low zoom obvious or for my low zoom i should say uh that's just that slow down while you're aiming down the sights point eight has always been my sweet spot in majority of call of duties and it seems like i track my enemies very very well so scrolling down here a little bit you're going to have things that are going to be personal preferences but we're getting down to the aim response curve type here personally i've always run linear and i've heard nothing but positive feedback with people telling me linear just feels the most natural while holding the controller but what you're going to want to do here is you're going to want to make sure your target aim assist is enabled and you also have it on legacy Legacy is an alternate aim slow down near target the aim assist type that is in Call of Duty Warzone that is in my opinion the most powerful aim assist that's ever been in the game uh Warzone has some pretty dang strong aim assist so pair that up with Legacy and Linear and I feel like you're going to track your enemies very well it's going to help you to not only control recoil but also just keep on target very very easily so down here towards the bottom of controller, you're going to have advanced and this is where you're going to have your dead zones. This is personally where I have mine. My controller has zero issues whatsoever. So if you have like a brand new controller, you feel like your controller has no drift. This is my settings. Feel free to copy them down. But if you have stick drift to the left or right, this is where you're going to be correcting that. So scrolling down even further, you're going to have the auto sprint option here. And I highly recommend you turn this on. This is going to help you automatically slide cancel. I don't know why it just clicked off. There we go. It's going to help you automatically slide cancel along with not button jam your thumb into your controller. That will actually cause stick drift the more and more you use it. I highly recommend using auto sprints for basically all the Call of Duties nowadays. Uh, it just saves your controllers. And in this particular case, it's actually very, very, very beneficial just because of that slide canceling aspect where normally you would have to click three buttons where it's slide, slide and jump. Now you no longer have to do that. You just hit slide, aim down the sights. Your character will immediately stand back up. So over here in graphics, you can see I am on PC, but there are plenty of settings that you also have access to on console. So scrolling down here to display, you're gonna have colorblind modes. I get a lot of questions regarding this. This is how you change your hit markers. You can see here, my colorblind type is going to be Tritinopia. That is the most vibrant color scheme in the game. As you can see, I have myself at yellow. My ally color, meaning my friendlies are gonna be blue. My enemy color, I do have at lime green there. That stands out a ton, especially the nameplates. You're going to see your enemies much better by going with that lime green. And then the party color, meaning anybody that you're playing with is uh, going to be a lighter shade of blue, but still blue. Nonetheless, you can distinguish between your allies and obviously enemies. So scrolling down a bit, I have your FOV here. I personally like 110. This is another personal preference, just like sensitivity. 110 seems to be the sweet spot for me in multiplayer. You're not playing on a massive map like you would be in Warzone, whether that be Verdansk, Caldera, Almazra, Vondel, Rebirth Island. You're, the maps are not nearly as big. I feel like you don't need that 120 FOV because it actually makes your enemies seem much farther and it kind of makes you miss some enemies just because they're smaller figures on the map. A lot of the pros set their FOV between 90 and 110. It really doesn't matter. Like I said, it's personal preference, but that's my big recommendation for you. And as far as your ADS field view, this is one you want on affected. It will cause you to not zoom into AD FOV while aiming down the sights. And it actually reduces visual recoil a lot as far as that bounce in the iron sights and optics. So scrolling all the way down here, there is something called motion blur and motion, just, just motion blur. Turn it off. <laughs> just turn off all your motion blurs. It makes a more realistic effect for sure but you're gonna end up missing enemies in the process. You do not want motion blur on. I see a lot of people argue, well, I'm playing it for realism. Call of Duty is not a realistic game. You're gonna end up dying just because of that blur. You're gonna be spinning fast and you're just gonna miss somebody because of that blur itself. Make sure you turn that off. So we're gonna cover a few little audio things here. So uh, first things first, you wanna make sure you wanna turn your music off, especially while in game. 
because the music will actually cause you to miss sound cues like footsteps or the announcer call outs or something as little as a reload. The music, especially towards the beginning and ends of games, tends to play very, very loudly, especially in a game mode like SD, even TDM. On that note, you're not going to want to be missing all of those sound cues that are very important to getting kills and gaining information. And the last audio setting I really want to cover here is the audio presets. High boost is where I've always run, run what I've always run and found the most success with. It's going to amplify your footsteps and give you a real direction of where they're actually coming from, whether that be in front of you, behind you, up, down, left, right. Uh, high boost has always would have been going with uh other than that i don't think there's really anything else that i need to cover as far as consoles goes feel free to go down in the comment section if you guys have any particular questions i'll do my best to absolutely answer those if that is i have an answer for you so as always i have a gameplay for you guys to watch you can see my featured settings live in action make sure you guys hit the like and subscribe button as always hope you guys enjoy Alrighty, I wanted to do a little gameplay segment in my settings video. So that's what we're doing. We're just going to try to kind of speed run a little TDM quickly. I don't necessarily need to go for a certain amount of kills or a certain KD or anything like that. I actually hate how quiet TDM is. It's always kind of like concerning because I never know where anybody is without like UAVs and stuff. We're winning 13 to 1 right now. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. Ring around a rosy. Well, that probably deserved that one. Like I said, no, no goal here. No goal. I'm not even trying to be entertaining. <laughs> I just want to play the game. Let's see what we're working with here. I wanted that kill, pal. <laughs> they keep leaving the game. What's that about? 25. All right, we're 30. Unsure of... Never mind. Where did I get stunned from? Huh? Bro, this game is a slaughter. Like, I actually... My team's everywhere. I don't know where to look. Everywhere and nowhere. Now they got a spy plane. My teammates don't have me a spy plane. There we go. That should give me a little info.
need to get up in here. This is a freebie. Bam. 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 Should be nuke right here if you can peek. Bam. Can't seem. All right, so that's gonna bring our kill count up. 58 kills, a little unenergetic. I'm gonna be on some kind of tire, but you know, settings video, you guys just like gameplay anyways.